Hello everyone, welcome to Din Talks. So today we are here with another video for you. If you are new to the channel, do subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update. Speakers for your home entertainment system may be rather expensive. Fortunately, you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a good soundbar that will make viewing TV or movies more enjoyable. Even the cheapest soundbars may deliver decent results, especially if you watch a lot of dialogue-heavy content at home, such as TV dramas or listen to podcasts or audiobooks. There's something for everyone in the budget category, whether you're searching for a soundbar with a subwoofer for watching action movies or a tiny soundbar that fits beneath your TV. Let us look at the best soundbars to buy in 2021 that fall in your budget. Sony HT-S100F The Sony HT-S100F is the best low-cost soundbar we've tested and you will get this for under $100. The S-Force front surround function on this 2.0 system is said to assist generate a more immersive sound. It's also Bluetooth enabled, so you can wirelessly stream music from your phone or tablet to the bar. This soundbar offers a balanced sound profile out of the box. However, it lacks some low bass and can sound a little gloomy. It should still be fine for listening to speech-heavy content like podcasts and TV episodes. And it even has a dialogue enhancement function to assist make voices more clear and crisp. It also becomes rather loud, making it perfect for listening to music in big spaces or during packed gatherings. Unfortunately, the S-Force front surround mode cannot be turned off, which may frustrate some users. This soundbar also doesn't support Dolby Atmos content and doesn't have a full HDMI in connection, so it can't be used as a hub for many devices. It's still a good improvement over your old TV speakers if you're on a limited budget. Samsung HWA450 the Samsung HWA450 is the finest cheap soundbar we've tested for under $200. A dedicated subwoofer is included in this 2.1 arrangement, which helps give a little more bass boom. It's also Bluetooth enabled, allowing you to remotely stream music from your phone or tablet to the bar. This soundbar comes with a fairly balanced sound profile out of the box, making it appropriate for listening to a wide range of audio sources. It also has a visual EQ, presets, and bass and treble tweaks, among other sound customizing options. It also gets rather loud, and there's a conversation enhancement function to make voices clearer. Unfortunately, even with calibration, this soundbar struggles to replicate low bass, so you won't hear the deep thud and rumble in action movies. It also lacks a full HDMI in port for high-quality pass-through and does not support Dolby Atmos. Despite this, it nevertheless provides a highly customized listening experience at a low cost. TCL Alto 8i Consider the TCL Alto 8i instead of your searching for a soundbar under $200 with a full HDMI in connection. While its default sound profile isn't as balanced as the Samsung HW and A450s, it lacks a visual EQ for sound tuning. It does enable high-quality pass-through through its full HDMI in connection. This means you can use it as a hub for several devices and the writing on the screen is sharp and clear. This soundbar offers a bass-heavy, slightly dark sound profile out of the box, but its balanced mid-range can still clearly reproduce vocal-centric material. To modify the sound, there are several EQ settings as well as bass and treble adjustments. It also supports Dolby Atmos material. However, the sound quality isn't very immersive. Check out the Samsung if you want a more adjustable soundbar with a more balanced sound out of the box. But the TCL, if you want a bar that supports Atmos and has a full HDMI in connection. Vizio V Series V51 H6 We found the Vizio V Series V51 H6 to be the best budget soundbar under $300. This well-made 5.1 system has a dedicated subwoofer and two satellite speakers to let you immerse yourself in your favorite music. It also includes a 3.5mm aux connector, so you may use a cable connection to connect your smartphone to the bar. It boasts a fantastic stereo frequency response that adds extra boom and punches to bass-heavy genres like EDM and action movies. 
It's still well balanced for most audio content and can clearly and correctly reproduce voices, which is ideal for podcasts. It also features EQ settings, so you may customize the sound profile to your preferences. This soundbar may become noisy if you want to listen to music at high volumes, making it a great choice for big or busy spaces. It also has minimal latency through its ARC and optical in connections and supports Bluetooth. Unfortunately, it lacks a full HDMI input and does not support Dolby Atmos material, which is a bummer if you enjoy watching movies. While the satellite speakers perform well in the surround department, they are bass heavy, so your audio may sound boomy and muddy. However, if you're searching for a budget-friendly soundbar, it's a good option. Samsung HW-A650 Consider the Samsung HW-A650 instead if you're searching for a better built soundbar for around $300. While this 3.1 soundbar lacks separate satellite speakers and doesn't have as good a surround performance as the Vizio V-Series V51H6, the metal grills that shield the drivers give it a more substantial feel. This soundbar comes with a very balanced sound profile that's acceptable for most sorts of audio material out of the box. However, it fails to recreate a thumpy low bass. However, there are several sound modification options including a visual EQ and presets. It does not, however, support Dolby Atmos, and to play surround video, it must downmix it into stereo, which isn't particularly immersive. Check out the Vizio if you're looking for a 5.1 soundbar with greater surround sound capabilities. Consider the Samsung alternative if you want a better built soundbar with a visual EQ. This was it for today's video. I hope you liked this video. Do let us know in the comments below what you think about the soundbars in the list. Which other soundbars do you think are great? Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so you don't miss a new video.